Libra, what's up? Friday is your lucky day, baby. You about to get another message from me, okay? Happy Friday again, Libra. I hope you all have a beautiful weekend. I know that that last message definitely probably didn't resonate with all of you, but I'm sure it resonated with some of you, all right? But I want to give y'all another message because I was like, mm, yeah, that was a tough one, right? Um, but let's, let's talk about something else. Let's see if we can get some different energy coming in for y'all. Um, Libra, you know I love you. You know what I'm saying? I love you. And I want to give y'all a happy, happy message. And that's just not realistic, you know. It's bullshit that goes on every day. We all know that. Let's keep it real. Let's be real. And it's going to be some crazy shit that come out in y'all energy. It just is. Um, but Libra, your energy was good. Even in that last reading. You got a lot to look forward to. You celebrate and you truly blessed, okay? It was just the energy surrounding your message. It was the people that betrayed you, what they going through and shit like that. But I'm so sick and tired of talking about that shit, Libra. I know y'all sick and tired of hearing about it. I'm sick and tired of talking about it. That emperor in the reverse, that motherfucker need to go have several seats. Like, that's somebody that's just like, oh, I, I just, I cannot. I cannot. I will not. I'm not doing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing it, okay? I'm not doing it. Um child <sighs> libra let's get some new messages for y'all <laughs> let's get some new messages for you libra all right let's pull from the um damn i don't know where that deck is at though shit that's that's the thing i was right here i'm like i don't know where that shit is at let's put some angels and auras for you okay Holy Spirit, this message is for the zodiac sign of Libra. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north node, Libra. Give me some messages for my beautiful and handsome Libras out there. All right, Libra, you're ready. What you ready for, sugar? Sugar snaps. What you ready for? It says you're ready, Libra. Okay, momentum, validation, encouragement, and prepared. You're ready. Libra, the wait wasn't punishment. It was preparation, okay? I'm hearing that you're ready for something big. Something big is happening for you guys. Some of you could be 43. You could be 34. Okay, you could be a life path number seven. Some of you could be born October 7th, October 4th, October 3rd. But Libra, you are ready, okay? You ready, pumpkin? You ready, sugar snaps? You ready, okay? This is your time to feel encouraged, Okay, like I said, the weight wasn't punishment, it was preparation. Some of you could be seeing a lot of feathers during this time, okay? That's to let you know that your angels, your ancestors are near, they're guiding you, okay? So pay attention to that. A lot of you could be getting a lot of angel numbers, different signs, synchronicities, but something significant about feathers. Some of you could be seeing a lot of feathers, okay? Yeah, blessing, okay? It's a blessing coming in, Libra. Blessing in disguise, Libra. Blessing in disguise, 16. Some of you could be born October 16th, October 7th. You could be a light path number seven for some of you. Okay, some of you could be seeing 777. Seven, seven. You could be seeing a lot of sevens. Libra, I've been seeing a lot of sevens. I've been seeing four sevens. I've been seeing seven, 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 seven. Okay, I've been seeing four sevens in a row. And I've been seeing that shit for like the past week, Libra. I actually posted in my community tab um something with seven 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 in it it was like a clip from spongebob when him and patrick was having a picnic and they didn't have anything they didn't have no picnic blanket they didn't have no food no nothing and they was just sitting on the floor or whatever they were sitting on the ground and the food and the, and the blanket and everything that they needed for their picnic just was dropping out of the sky and somebody had made that into like a video clip and they wrote this is what it looks like when god uh, provides everything for you, you know, and I was like, yeah, God is your provider. And I had put that in the community tab. I had posted like a screenshot of it. And in, in, in the, um, on that post, the comments was seven, 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 seven. Okay. Or it was like, it was either four sevens or five sevens, but Libra, I've been seeing a lot of sevens. Some of y'all been seeing a lot of sevens as well, but blessing in disguise, Libra, it says trust, revelation, significance, surprise. You about to get a big, big surprise, Libra. You about to get the shock of your life. Okay. Confetti everywhere is giving pinata energy. All right. But trust, revelation, significance, and surprise. Surprise, Libra. You have a blessing. 
And it's so funny because before I came into this message, I kept hearing, be still. It's going to be a plot twist. Be still. Be patient. Don't trip. No worries. It's a plot twist. So Libra, you got a blessing in disguise coming. It's some sort of plot twist that's about to happen. Okay. I'm hearing that the plot thickens. It's a plot twist, but there's about to be some sort of blessing in disguise. Your prayer is powerful, Libra. Some of you have been praying a lot, but it's the power of prayer, baby. You about to be living out your wildest dreams. You about to be living your prayers. Your prayers are about to come true. Your wishes are about to come true, Libra. The power of prayer. Surrender, believe, affirm, release. Release all that isn't serving you for your highest good. Affirm yourself that you are safe at all times. The universe is always working in your favor. Everything is always working for your higher good. And believe, believe in yourself. Believe in spirit, the divine. Believe in source. And surrender, okay? Surrender to that feeling, to that faith, all right? But yes, Libra, some of you may have some of these symbols tatted on you, okay? I know that I definitely have one, two, three. I have three of these symbols tatted on me, okay? But some of you could have a star tatted on you. Some of you got a um, pentagram, a six-pointed star, a cross, a yin-yang symbol. Some of you resonate with the ohm as well. Some of you could have like a compass or a wheel tatted on you. Uh, some of you may have some sort of Chinese ancestry as well. But yes, Libra, the power of prayer, okay? Your prayers are very powerful. Some of you are prayer warriors. Shout out to my fellow prayer warriors out there. Libra, you a prayer warrior. You know the power of prayer. You know what it is, okay? Yeah, some of you, your favorite color could be green, okay? But we got Camuel here, okay? Archangel Camuel, light green energy, number one. Some of you could be born October 1st, Okay? Uh, some of you could be seeing a lot of ones, 11, 11, 111. You could be seeing a lot of ones, Libra, but happiness, vibrancy, energy, and hope. You're someone that's very vibrant. You're very hopeful. You're full of energy. You're very happy. Okay. You're a very happy spirit. Some of you could be connecting with your inner child as well during this time is what I'm hearing. You're connecting with your inner child, Libra. All right. That's nice. Okay. So we got 777, 616, a lot of sevens. Yeah, you got seven, you got 77 right here. Yep, you got 77 right here. Because 16 breaks down to a seven and 43 breaks down to a seven. So you got them sevens right here. Libra, some of y'all seeing a lot of sevens. Somebody here could have been born in 77 as well. October 7th, angel, um, light path number seven. Okay, Libra, we got Proposal 27, okay? Proposal, okay? Somebody here could be born in 72, maybe somebody's 27. Some of you could be a life path number nine. You could be born October 9th, September 27th, okay? Um, but yes, Libra, you could be seeing 999 as well. But there's a romantic or business opportunity that's coming towards you, okay, Libra? Some of you could be getting proposed to. Congratulations, Libra. Congratulations, sugar dumpling. All right, that's beautiful. Some of you could be dealing with fire signs or you could have strong fire in your chart. October energy with the 10th. You could be dealing with another Libra. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Or like I said, you could have strong fire in your chart. But it's a lot of passion in your life right now. It's a lot of passion surrounding you during this time. You have a lot of passion and vitality and spark in you. Okay, some of you could be born October 10th. All right, but it says let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. Okay, so this blessing in disguise is really restoring you. Okay, your presence is being renewed. Okay, embrace embrace the renewal of the present. The present moment is going to be beautiful. Okay, the present is beautiful. Okay, embrace the present. Okay, don't be so stuck on the past. Release the past. Being stuck in the past, living in the past causes depression and being too focused on what's to come in the future creates anxiety. So you really want to live in a present moment. You really want to focus on a present moment, Libra. Some of you can have the lion spirit around you. You may resonate with the spirit of the lion. Some of you can have Leo in your chart. I told you some of you got fire in your chart. Leo could be very significant here. You could be dealing with a Leo. Somebody here could be born October 16th, October 7th, okay? But we keep getting them sevens. We got 16, 16 here. Blessed in disguise with 16. And lion is also 16. Some of y'all definitely seeing a lot of sevens. We got 43, 16, and 16. That's 777 right there. Libra, come on. I ain't gonna bullshit you, baby. 
I ain't gonna bullshit you. Lucky seven. Okay, lucky number seven, jackpot energy. Some of you could be winning if you go to a casino, if you gamble, Libra. I'm not encouraging you to gamble and spend unnecessary money, but I'm just telling you, some of you could be winning big right now. Jackpot energy, lucky seven, 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 seven. seven. All right, but it says harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. Okay, Libra, you very fertile. You birth the new ideas, new beginnings, blessings, and prosperity is coming to you. It says universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility. Some of you could actually even be pregnant. Congratulations to the Libras out there that's getting married, that's getting proposed to, that's getting pregnant, or this is what's to come in the near future. Okay, but we got four. We got birth, Okay. You very fertile, okay, Libra, you the empress. The empress rules that Venusian mother fertility energy, okay? You're, you're very abundant, confirmation. Some of you could be born October 4th. You could be a life path number four. You could be seeing angel number 444 four, four during this time. But Libra, you got big shit popping. Big shit popping. Big shit popping, Libra. Big things are going, Libra. Yeah, Libra, you the shit, baby. Oh, y'all the shit. Libra, you know you the shit. You know you the truth. You know what I'm saying? That's why I had to come back and give y'all another message. Because I was like, nah. That message, I was like, it was necessary. And I know it was. But I was like, nah, I want to give I want to give my Libras another message. <laughs> yeah, Ten of Cups. Some of y'all, you definitely building a home, building a life with somebody. Ten of Cups. You could be moving into a home with someone, okay? You could be buying a home. You could be, you know, it's a lot of things going on, Libra, but it's happiness. It's celebration. It's something here that's new for you, a new environment, a new beginning, new everything, all new everything. Some of y'all been praying for this, and it's coming. Whatever you've been praying for, whatever you've been wishing and hoping for, whatever you've been manifesting, that shit is here. It's here, sugar. It's here, Libra. It's here, baby doll. Libra. Sun, moon, Venus, rising. North no. Holy Spirit, give me a message for my beautiful empresses. My kings and queens. My emperors and empresses. Libra. Somebody in love with you. Somebody said they in love with you, okay? It's a king of cups. Somebody's in love with you. They got an offer for you. Somebody here gonna ask you to marry them. Y'all, Ashanti about to get married to Nelly, okay? Y'all know I channel them a lot. Yeah, and she pregnant right now, too. Yep, I be channeling them all the time. I feel like Ashanti deadass be watching tarot. But you know what I'm saying? They getting married. Congratulations to them. Y'all know I predicted her pregnancy, and now I'm predicting her marriage. They gonna get married. I love them together. They twin flames. They're twin flames that actually got it right. You know, that's a beautiful thing. All right, <laughs> let me see. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know I'm shady as fuck. All right, Libra, let's get you a message, baby. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no, Libra. All right, Libra. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo. This person is false. They want to come back around. You need to avoid this person, okay? Avoid this motherfucker like the fucking plague. You dealing with a Leo, you need to avoid this person. If somebody here that's in poor health, you need to avoid. This person could be in bad health. They're worried. They're scared. Okay. They're fearful. They have an anxiety during this time. They could be having bad dreams and stuff. Somebody here is not sleeping well at night. This person want to come towards you. Some sort of spell work that they did is backfiring on them for some of you. That's for some of you, not all. Okay. I know not everybody being spiritually attacked, Libra. Just take the parts that resonate with you. But for some of you, this person was spiritually attacking you and it's backfiring. And now this person is being haunted. Okay. I'm hearing that they own they own ancestors is tormenting them. So whoever this motherfucker is, they own ancestors is tormenting them during this time. Their ancestors have turned against them. This person could be having bad dreams right now and they're suffering. Yeah, this motherfucker's suffering. This is pure suffering. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You dig that? Yeah, this motherfucker is going through some pure separation. <laughs> but this is somebody that wants to emotionally manipulate you. It's like this person want to come back around, come into your life and emotionally manipulate you in some way. Let me just tell you right now, motherfucker, you know who you are in my life. You got one, you got, motherfucker, if you come anywhere near me, I will have you handcuffed and arrested within five fucking minutes tops. And that's me being gracious because I got motherfuckers on speed dial all about your ass. You take one fucking step near me. And that, and it's going to be over for you. You understand that? You stay your bitch ass right where the fuck you at. But yeah, this person is showing up as the king of wands in a reverse. Okay? So Libra, I don't know if y'all feeling how I'm feeling. 
But motherfucker, you can't come nowhere near me. You come close if you want to, bitch. That's gonna be your ass. But yeah, we got the King of Wands in the reverse here. Sorry, y'all. I just had to say something. <laughs> we have the King of Wands in the reverse here. The strength reverse, the magician reverse. This person wanna come back towards you. They're very manipulative. This person is mad, okay? They're mad because they didn't receive something that they thought they was going to get. This person is nervous. They confused. They work together with multiple people here. Nothing's working out. Everybody's getting karma. This person could have thought they was getting some sort of money. They ain't getting shit. They could have worked together with a Virgo or a Scorpio or Capricorn. Somebody with strong Virgo, Scorpio or Capricorn in their chart. Somebody here could be a Virgo, Scorpio or Capricorn sun sign or they could have that in their chart. Those are the signs I'm getting today. Yeah, fuck y'all. Yeah, somebody here is mad because they couldn't cause illusions for you. Somebody here is mad because they couldn't block your new beginning. Somebody here thought they was about to be living it the fuck up. God said how? Bitch, you ain't about to be living it up nowhere. Okay? You need to be happy that your ass still got air in your lungs because God is very upset with whoever this is. Yeah, this person is stuck. This person is in spiritual jail. God said he putting their asses in spiritual jail. So everything in their life could be slow moving. Okay? Things may have come to a halt for this person, for these people. Everything is a stalemate. Everything is blocked and slowed down in their life. Libra, you got the Ace of Pentacles here. You showing up as the Queen of Wands in the upright, okay? You could be um, receiving some sort of big blessing here, a blessing in disguise. Your prayers are being answered. Your wish fulfillment is here. There's an offer or an opportunity that's being presented to you. And these people from your past are very bitter. Okay, they holding a grudge. They're very upset. They're very hateful towards you, Empress. You showing up as the Empress. Libra, I'm going to sit you right here. You so beautiful showing up as the Empress, Libra. And these people from your past that's bitter and holding some sort of grudge when you did absolutely nothing to their bitch asses. These people got the nerve to be bitter and salty and going through a tower moment and watching you and still sending you hateful energy that's back crying and mirroring back to their dumb asses. These people are ruining their life by trying to come for you. I feel like somebody here is now fully understanding that. Like every time they try you, some crazy shit happens to them. Okay. Somebody here feels like you're making a choice in love. They don't like that. Somebody here don't want you to make a choice in love. They don't want you to have a partner. They don't want you to be in a relationship. I mean, mind your fucking business. Like, what is it to you? Worry about who dick you sucking and riding on, hoe. Okay? You fucking hoe. <laughs> These motherfuckers is hoes. They whores. Okay? Yeah. They're whores. And they're mad because nobody's marrying they sorry asses. Or if they are married, they man is cheating on them. They don't give a fuck about them. Yeah, Libra, you got the Ten of Cups here. Beautiful, happy, happy home, family, abundance, ten of cups, building a life with somebody, building an empire, a legacy, wish fulfillment on all levels. Some of you could be getting a new home as well. I'm hearing it's going to be a dream home. Libra, you always get bigger and better. That's the fucking truth. Every time something ends for you or every time you leave something, you get put into a better position. God said he's going to keep giving you bigger and better each and every time. Ace of Swords, that's the fucking truth. And the truth is, is that these motherfuckers is under judgment. They done hung themselves. Somebody here is done fell into their own fucking booby trap. Somebody here was trying to set up a booby trap for you, and they fucking fell in that shit they damn selves. Yeah, somebody here is imprisoned, okay? This is somebody that's imprisoned. They have no peace of mind. Somebody here is mad. They feel defeated. You have a new beginning. Libra, you got all your aces in the upright. Baby, you got the ace of pentacles, the ace of cups, the ace of swords, all in the upright. Somebody here is depressed about that. Why is it that you get everything that you want? Why is it that you're comfortable? Tell them because you ain't a hating ass hoe like them. Libra, you showing up as the queen of swords. You're very intelligent, very wise, very nurturing, very compassionate, standing 10 toes down. You the shit, you the fucking truth. Period. And motherfuckers know that whether or not they want to acknowledge that. Yeah, everything working out in your favor. Will of fortune, straight like that. The will has turned in your favor. Everything is working in your favor, Queen of Swords. Libra, you're not playing with no fucking body. A lot of y'all, you got the same fucking attitude as me. Motherfucker, you got one time to step anywhere near me. You come anywhere near me. I'm talking about 50 feet from me. If I, if I could see you, you too fucking close. And you're getting arrested. Libra, that's how y'all could be feeling about some people. You don't want nobody coming nowhere near you. Don't call me. Don't text me. Don't say shit to me. Don't show up. Don't try to pop up. You will be fucking sorry. You will be very sorry. Yeah, Libra, you are done. <laughs> you fucking done, Libra. I feel like you're done. 
Yeah, you're done with this emperor in the reverse. Whoever this sick motherfucker is that keep coming out in your energy, you're done with this person. This person is egotistical, very money hungry. For some of you, this could be your own father. This could be somebody in your family for some of you. Somebody here could be a Virgo, Taurus, a Capricorn, a Leo. They could have that in their chart. This person is under heavy judgment. Fuck them. Okay, this person could be scared. They feel like the ending is near. They could be scared of death. Somebody here could have died that's close to them or they're worried that somebody is. Who the fuck cares? Take care of that, Okay. Go find something to do. Go plan the fucking funeral, okay? Get the fuck away from Libra before somebody else get hurt. Motherfuckers need to fucking sit the fuck down. Go take a nap. Go find something to do. Go fucking fly a kite. Yeah, Libra, you are moving forward. The fool card, period. God is making sure that these motherfuckers come nowhere near you. And if they think they about to come anywhere near you, he'll take them out before they could even get close. You got the full card here, Libra. You got a new, you taking a new leap of faith and a new direction for many of you. You're moving forward triumphantly. The road is open. Your pathway is clear. Okay. You avoid toxic, demonic motherfuckers. These narcissistic, parasitic, vampire looking motherfuckers here. Okay. <laughs> Libra, I know y'all be like, damn, this bitch be on one. I sure do be on one. Okay, these narcissistic, parasitic, sadistic motherfuckers here. <laughs> Libra, I don't give a fuck about none of these people. I don't know about you, honey, but I don't give a fuck about man one of these motherfuckers. Somebody here could be saying sorry. That's fine. Just stay the fuck away from me. Yeah, we got the nine of pentacles here. Libra, you going from the nine to the ten of pentacles, the nine to the ten of cups. Very uh, independent, very self-sufficient, very fucking happy. Very happy. You got a lot of stability here as well. God is moving in your life. God's hand is on you, baby. When I tell you, you are truly anointed, blessed, and highly favored. That's what I mean. God's hand is on you. Yeah, high priestess. I feel like you intuitive. I feel like you know that. I feel like you know that you are safe and secure and you have a firm belief. You know that for a fact because you are a prayer warrior. You are an alchemist. You are a high priestess. You are um, a divine uh, leader here. It's like you're you're very divine. You have this divinity about you. You walk in this divine light. You work for the divine. You have a good, 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 good relationship with God. You have a close relationship with God. You and God like this. Okay, and this is why your prayers actually come true. This is why you living out your dreams. This is why your prayers are being fulfilled. They being answered because God has been studying you, observing you, watching you and keeping you close to him. And he see how you handle dumb motherfuckers. He know that you didn't take vengeance into your own hands. You let vengeance be his. Vengeance is the Lord's. And because you are working in that light, because you stood in integrity, despite these motherfuckers coming for you every second, every chance that they get, because you stood in integrity, he is going to seek vengeance on his behalf and he is going to bless you and reward you for standing in that integrity and being obedient and continuing to serve him. Can I get an amen? Amen. Libra, give me a thumbs up if you know that that's your truth. Can I get an amen or ashe? Come on now. I'm going once, going twice. I say amen. All right. Jesus. Here we go. Yeah. You working hard. You stay dedicated. You stay focused. You stay in your purpose, you earth angel. You stay tempered. You stay balanced. You know what I'm saying? God is restoring balance in your life. You got a heart of gold. You a queen of cups. Very loving, very nurturing, very giving, very compassionate. These, perp these people thought that you was a fucking fool for being in this energy. How you not going to fight us back? You a punk ass bitch, Libra. You pussy. You know what I'm saying? You sweet. You a piece of cake. These motherfuckers thought shit was sweet. They thought you was silly. They thought you was naive. They thought you was pussy. You like, nah, trust me. God about to get at you way worse than I ever could, bitch. Just wait for it. <laughs> Libra. My spirit guys is cracking the fuck up. They letting me have my fun today. They said I could do, they could, They said I could talk my shit today. They said I could have fun. Yeah, 10 of wands here. These people heavily burdened and weighed down because you walked away and you ain't looking back. You ain't saving nobody. You ain't helping nobody. Imagine a motherfucker stabbing you in your back, you taking it out and healing yourself and then coming back to save them from drowning. Get the fuck out of here, motherfucker. You better find a boat, okay? You better find a boat. You better find a ship. You better find a fucking paddle. You better talk to God and ask him to clear that water out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You better ask for a fucking miracle. You better go find Moses. Come on now. Yeah. Mm-mm. The star. You a healer. You've healed, Libra. Somebody here feels like it's unfair that you've healed, that you're moving forward. How the fuck you feel like it's unfair? 
Somebody here is watching you and feel like it's unfair that you're healing, that you're being celebrated, that you're in the star energy. Bitch, is you dumb? Is you stupid? Is you slow? Is you retarded? All of the above. I'm hearing that it's all of the above. Why do you feel like it's an injustice for Libra to be in the star energy? It's an injustice for you to be worried about Libra this much, you dumb fucking whore. Okay, you's a dumb whore. You's a dumb slut. You's a fucking cunt. All of y'all bitches is sluts. <laughs> Confirmation. All of y'all bitches is sluts, bro. These hoes feel like it's unfair. It's unjust for you to be celebrated. Bitch, mind your fucking business. Now, I need to I need to clarify this energy. Who feel like it's an injustice? Who feel like it's unfair for you to be in this energy? Bitch, mind your fucking business. Somebody here feel like your rank is unfair. Like somebody here knows that you high ranking and they feel like that's unfair. Like you shouldn't be in this star energy. I can't make it up. The star here twice. Libra, I can't make it up. Somebody here knows that you're divine. They know that you are a healer of all ages, that you're a star. We got the star here twice. Somebody here is restless about this. Somebody here feel like it's unfair. Somebody here watching you and feel like it's unfair. Bitch, your life is unfair. The fact that your mama ain't swallow your ass is unfair, but you don't see us saying shit about it. Clarify the justice in the reverse here. It's unfair for you to be on this earth, but you don't see nobody complaining about that shit. The fuck? Life ain't fair. Okay, somebody here wanted to cause endings for you. They feel like it's unfair that there's no endings happening in your life. That you sail into calmer waters and you happy and you celebrate it. Bitch, mind your fucking business. Yeah, we got the nine of pentacles here. Somebody here see you happy, independent, and celebrating. And they feel like that's an injustice. Like somebody here really feels like it's unfair for you to be held in high honor. For God to be loving you and protecting you the way that he is. Bitch, who the fuck are you to be saying that anybody shouldn't have anointing over their life? Mind your fucking business and move around. This is exactly why God don't protect you and God don't give a fuck about you, for real, for real, because you too busy judging other people. Yeah, this person's a fucking idiot. They're heartbroken. Oh, well. They're heartbroken. This person has been trying to steal from you, cause conflict for you, cause chaos for you. Could be another Libra for some of y'all. Could be a Scorpio. Could be a Virgo, a Pisces, somebody with that in their chart. Bitch, sit the fuck down before you get put the fuck down, okay? And that's a promise. Yeah, that's what God said. It's a promise. <laughs> Somebody here is disappointed, watching you and disappointed. Can't believe this shit. Why are you? Why are you being celebrated? It's unfair. Why are you getting this abundance? Could be a Sagittarius. Bitch, mind your fucking business. Okay, go wash your ass because you stink. Somebody here smells like piss. Somebody here smells like like fucking cat piss. You stink and your house is dirty and you depressed and you fucking washed up and dry and you're pale. Somebody here is pale as fuck. Somebody here could be a different race from some of y'all. Somebody here is pale and they, they fucking miserable. And all they do is sit back and watch you and wish ill on you. Bitch, your whole life gonna come tumbling down. You keep coming for this fucking empress. You don't know who you fucking with. Yeah, the fuck out of here. Somebody here has been trying to spiritually attack y'all. They feel like you out of this world. Like you got some sort of supernatural powers. Yeah, Libra, you do. And this bitch need to be happy that you ain't unleashed that shit on her ass. Go sit the fuck down, ho. There's a king of swords in the reverse that's also watching you that's mad. Somebody here feel like you're selling to Karma Waters and it's unfair. Mind your fucking business. Somebody here is mad because you're not talking to them. You could have blocked them or you could have stopped communicating with them. There's a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse that was also working together with these people. Motherfuckers worked together and lied on you. Somebody here could have lied on you to the courts as well. There could be a fake lawyer involved. All these people going the fuck down. The Emperor reverse, the Moon reverse. Y'all all done got caught up. Y'all all hanging by y'all fucking ankles. This shit is a wrap. This shit is over. Will of Fortune in the world. Now motherfuckers are scared and worried about all the dumb shit they was doing. Yeah. Fucking toxic and obsessed with y'all. These motherfuckers grew an obsession with you, Libra. They grew a fucking obsession with you. They did. And when they found out how powerful you was, that's when the obsession grew even stronger. These motherfuckers need to go find a fucking hobby. And like I said, they need to clean their house. They need to clean their ass. Because some of these people live in fucking foul. They so fucking worried about you. They haven't even been keeping up with their own shit. They haven't even been keeping up with themselves or their own houses. Somebody here has made it a full-time job of theirs, a fucking priority to continue to fuck with you. Over there smelling like shit. Like, bitch, clean your body. Clean your house. Clean yourself. Take care of yourself. Comb your fucking hair. That shit is matted. Somebody here got, like, sweaty, a uh, sweaty scalp and just dirty fucking hair and shit. Like, bitch, you need to go find something to do. For real. There's a million things that I can see that you need to take care of. Worry about your shit and stop worrying about Libra. You dumb fucking hoe. You's a dumb hoe. You's a dumb bitch. You's a slut. You's a cunt. Period. Libra, I don't know who these people are in your life, but I know who they are in mine. And
And I mean every motherfucking word that I just said. Go ahead and do something about it. You ain't about to do shit. These people can't do shit to you, Libra, and they mad. I'm going to talk to y'all. Peace.